we've just got the phone call that we have completed <laughs> i'm gonna give you a little house tour hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is a really exciting video i'm moving house which is honestly been a long time coming but i'm super excited so i'm just gonna vlog the day for you more for me just to look back at but yeah i'm super excited um so i think it's quite early this morning i literally woke up with a dog bark i don't know what time so i thought oh it's not that not that early ignore that i'm using this it's literally running out so i'm just getting the last scrapes out um yeah the dog woke start barking must have been i don't even know what time so then i was like oh i'll just go back to sleep for a bit like i didn't look and then i woke up again i was like oh must be time to wake up it was literally 20 to 6. so i don't really know what happened there so then i tried to get back to sleep um couldn't really so yeah early morning for me i think it was just like mixed with emotions and stuff i was just like so excited i was like yeah don't need to sleep now so yeah i'm just getting up ready for the day um i'm not 100 percent sure what the plan is um i've got to obviously pack up my car everything is packed in my bedroom which is good i just need to put it in my car but also work out stuff that like doesn't necessarily need to go over today because i have a tiny little car so i literally cannot fit everything in and it's like an hour away from where I live at the moment, so I really want to be coming back um, like tonight, like getting another load. So I'm just going to take necessities and then when my mum comes to help me with like everything on Friday, because today is Wednesday, um, she can bring the rest of my stuff. So I don't think I mentioned, but today is Wednesday. 27th of March um, and it's so handy because well tomorrow I have a wedding um, that I'm going to so which is what it is so obviously I've got today booked off work tomorrow booked off work and then it's actually bank holiday Easter weekend um, so I don't have work on Friday or Monday so I've literally got uh, such a long weekend literally is going to feel like a little bit of a holiday so that is going to be so nice. I'm just going to finish up my makeup and then we'll start with the moving. Okay, so I'm all ready now. And basically, I just need to... This is the state of my room. I need to take it all, try and pack up my car. I think what I'm going to do is take down everything I think I need for like the first few days. Leave anything else in my room for my mum to bring when she comes. And then just see if there's any room left that I can just like chuck extra bits. In. But I also have stuff in the garage for the kitchen and I really want to make sure like I take all the kitchen stuff. So and anything to get ready tomorrow for the wedding <sighs> but also there's roadworks outside and we literally cannot get off our driveway so I'm hoping by the time we get the call they should be okay because basically they're putting a new curb in so it's like tarmac in it and obviously you're not supposed to drive over it but he said that um, by 12 hopefully half of our driveway should be done so I could potentially manoeuvre off so I'm, I'm really hoping that is the case because else I will be not be there <laughs> no I'm joking but yeah so up here is loads of like boxes I think majority of that is going to be coming we've got like kitchen stuff makeup down here is on makeup all these bin bags are like my different clothes we've got this box of shoes ignore I've actually eaten some what's it um so yeah we're I need to, oh, I need to go in the loft to get a duvet out because the duvet that I've been using is not the one I'm taking with me. I need to get one at the loft. So, I'll do that when my mum gets home because my mum is not here right now. So, I'm doing all of this by myself. I don't even know if I'm going to do like a time lapse or what of me 
clearing out my bedroom. just got the phone call that we have completed which is super exciting but my car is not packed because my mum says she'd help but she's not back yet so who knows when I'm leaving but I still need to go into the loft and get out pillows no not pillows a duvet ah, I'm so excited I literally I don't know whether to cry I literally have no idea so I feel like I'm missing loads of stuff, but I know that because my mum is coming on Friday that I don't need it in between then, I don't think. Because I've, I've got clothes for Friday and obviously I'm wearing my wedding stuff tomorrow. I literally cannot wait. But I do feel like I there's so much stuff still left in my bedroom. Like, I've got loads of clothes as well. I'm like, do I take them clothes? But I don't need them. So I guess if it just fits in my car, but I need to get a duvet out the loft. So I will ask my mum for her help when she gets back. But I've got, like, loads of coats and stuff, like, all on the back of my door. But we have completed. So I think the next time I'll talk to you will either be at the house. It will be at the house. Hello, so I'm in the car now, all packed up. And I'm ready to go, so I'll see you at the house. Hi. Ah, which one is it? Oh, we have a doorbell. Oh, they left the doorbell. Ah. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they left loads of pots and pans. Yeah, I told you. Cool. Is that? Is that addressed to me? Yeah, Miss oh, that's, Shilbrook. That's good. Oh, oh my god, look, they left that. And the, the eggs. I seen it, so I didn't know what it was. That was what was up there. I don't know why they took it down. Oh, anything in the fridge for us? No. Chopping board. I, I actually. We have, didn't buy I've, one. I've got two. I've got one now. I've got two. Two. Yeah. Oh, cute. Love that. <laughs> so before we unpack I'm going to give you a little house tour James is just doing the gas readings so this is our front door maybe I'll turn that light which was oh that's the bathroom oh where's this light where's this one hmm? oh it's here ah uh, there we go so this is our front door so when you walk in We've got this door to the right, which is the bathroom. And then on the left, we've got the kitchen. So we actually got to keep the chair and the tables. No, tables, <laughs> the table and chairs. And then this is the kitchen. It's so cute. The fridge. There's quite a bit of storage actually for like the small kitchen. Yeah. Um, we don't have a dishwasher, but that's fine. I haven't actually looked under the sink. A bit grubby, but we can give everything a bit of a clean. So that is the kitchen. And they've left loads of pots and pans, which is really handy. And then this is the bathroom. Um, a little ensuite. It was already pre-decorated. Now I can't quite work out if this is back or navy. Kind of looks navy, it kind of looks black. It's so I guess we'll work it out. But yeah, a little splash back there. Really cute. Really like the bathroom. It's really different. I mean, we never have decorated like that, but already like that. I think we really, really like it. And then the hallway. There's no shoes on the floor. Into the massive living room. So we think we'll probably put our TV here where they had it before, but we're gonna strip the wallpaper um paint not a fan of the green i like green but not in the living room and then out here we've got our double doors to the garden so we've got a little shed there and i love this flower bush didn't even know that was there so 
that's a bonus. It's just a cute little garden. We're definitely going to get some. Oh my god, there's a log burner! What? Cute! A log burner! Did not know that was there. I don't know where the other thing to read is. Is it not under the stairs? No. What was that other thing? It doesn't have is it, it Wait, what, what is it for? Gas and electric. So but, but what was the one in the... Um, I don't know. Oh. Maybe I'll FaceTime my... Oh no, I can't FaceTime my mum. Um, we'll ring someone. <laughs> right, and up the stairs. So we've just got these little spiral stairs. Well, I wouldn't really call it a spiral, but kind of spirals. And all of our carpets are the same grey. So up we go. And this is the landing, which I love. It's like so bright and big. And then we turn right. And we've just got our boiler, like just storage in here, which is going to be super handy. Put the boilers on. So? What? I know. I. Oh, yeah. I did look at one, but I just didn't buy it. And then on to the first room. So this is like the smallest room. Um, it's so cute. I'm gonna use it as kind of like an office dressing room, I think. Um, just box room. Got a view of the garden. I'll try not to show everyone else's gardens, which is so nice. You, everyone can really see in your garden, which don't know how I feel about it but I think we're gonna get rid of the shed there and put like a little tiny little shed down the side and then have like a patio where we can put some outdoor furniture on because I think that would be really nice um, and also I don't know if you can tell but down the back there that is our alley where we keep our bins and then um, we take them down the side of the house for window which is so nice because it means you can't actually see the bins um, in the garden so onto the next room, this is the master bedroom. So it's a nice big room. They've actually left the wardrobe, which is super handy because we haven't actually ordered any yet. Um, so it's just gray and black with a mirror, um, which is so nice. Um, we think we're gonna put the bed, well we think, we know we're gonna put the bed here because there's already like space for a TV up here, which we may as well take full advantage of. And then if you turn this way, we've got our ensuite. So I'll show you that. So this is quite a nice color. It's kind of like a gray, gray cream, I would say. I love all of these like textured tiles. They've also left this mirror. They've also put toilet roll in the upstairs bathrooms. I don't know if they just left them or he left them on purpose. My hair is a state, so we can all that. And then just got a shower in here, which is great because it means we've got a stand-up shower and a bath in the main bathrooms, which is so nice. And then back into the hallway. And then this is what we're gonna use like the spare bedroom, but we're gonna have like a sofa bed rather than a main bed. But they've also left another wardrobe in here, which is a bonus because we're gonna have a wardrobe in my dressing room so we're gonna use this for now until we've like measured up and like worked out what exact wardrobe I want but we're thinking sofa bed here um and then opposite the sofa bed we'll pop like a chest of drawers and then a tv on top and then James can have this like playstation in here and yeah, we just need to, we've ordered them, but need to get curtains for all of the rooms. Uh, well, we've all haven't ordered the curtains, we've ordered the poles. And then I'm gonna properly measure up for curtains. And then in here is the main bathroom, which I'm obsessed with. Like, oh, these tiles are so nice. Again, they're like textured. I don't know if you can tell, but they've got like a texture in there. And it's just super like clean, gray, white, obsessed. But yeah, that is the whole tour. So I think we're gonna start bringing in some of our stuff now. Then we need to do another trip back to James's house where we will grab more of his stuff and then my family bring my on Friday. So I'm just gonna really add on our paint testers to the wall. This one, it looks all white. I'm gonna do them all and then I'll show you them all. 
So we've painted all the samples out. These are the ones that are by the window, so they all look a bit darker. Our favourites at the moment are this one and this one here. And then over here is what they look like with the light facing on them. So this one does look quite yellow and this one does look quite pink, but I feel like they're still our favourite ones. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure. These are definitely too dark for what we want. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's like too white, then that is quite dark and a bit yellow. So I think I am swaying towards that one a bit more. But it's so hard to tell when like it's just a little bit and also the rest of the room is green. But the sun is starting to come out now, which is good. And I think we're gonna drive to James's to pick up some more of his stuff. I'm also gonna do some cleaning because it's a bit, it's not dirty, but there's like, rub here and there so yeah I'm gonna do some cleaning in the kitchen now so I've just got back from collecting um, some of James's stuff he is still on his way back and um, he had to pop to the estate agents first to just grab another set of keys that they dropped off so yeah I think I'm gonna do some cleaning now because um, it's just a bit gross and we just want to put all of our stuff away, but I feel like it needs to be nice and clean before we do so. So, that is the plan now. I'm just going to pop on my new slippers. I got these for Christmas and I've been saving them. So, I don't actually know how to open them though. Because I don't know where the scissors are. Oh, is that James? No. I have a feeling he'll park outside the house. Oh. Honestly, we haven't, we've literally, not, I literally look a mess, um, but we haven't eaten anything yet. I'm really hungry. But I want to clean before we go do the food shop, but I'm really hungry, so I kind of want to do the food shop now. Also, they've got this bin, like, installed in this cupboard here, and they obviously had cats, and it just smells like cat food. So, I'm hoping, I can't undo my slippers, um that we'll be able to get rid of that smell or just get rid of the bin. We don't have a bin though. Slippers are on. They feel really strange because obviously they're new so they feel like proper like cushiony. <laughs> I am going to, I think I'm gonna start with the fridge. I bought loads of cleaning supplies so hopefully I'll find something in there to be able to clean the fridge. But I think I'm gonna be using my new Sephora. Stuff. I don't really know how to do this. I kind of want to clear the. It just is a bit smelly in here, so I think I need to get the drawers out. Oh, whoa. Okay. I can definitely get that drawer out. I can clean that one in the sink, and then I will have to clean it clean the rest in there because I don't know how to get the other one out. See how quickly we need to heat that and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the Sephora disinfector. Okay, it, for some reason it's not heating up. I don't know where the uh, tea towels are here. This is the thing, right? I don't know where everything is. It's one of these. I'm going to boil the kettle because the hot water is not working. But I'll get back to you once I've done some cleaning. So we've started popping all of the kitchen stuff away. Um, still very messy. But we're getting there, aren't we? There's, hmm? We're getting there. Got my coffee up here. Little coffee machine here. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Rammed into James. Um, we're just working out like where, where to put everything so it doesn't look too cluttered. Um, I can't wait for this to all change next week as well. <laughs> Probably. But your, your mum will come in and go, that looks silly there. Yeah. Mine will go, no, that doesn't even need to be in this <laughs> 100%. room. 100%. Yeah, so. But I'll, I'll show you when it's properly a bit cleared. Properly a bit cleared? That wasn't English. Yes. A bit more properly cleared. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> we'll show you when it's clearer. Yep. <laughs> so we've done majority of the kitchen now. 
Um, we're gonna go to the shop. I am starving, it's only seven o'clock and we have not eaten. So we're gonna grab some essential bits um, and then get some dinner, I think. Because we are hungry. But yeah, it's getting dark now. There was a rainbow earlier, it was so pretty. But yeah, we're really... Oh, are you tired? We've got uh. lots to do. <laughs> Okay, so we've come back from the food shop and we're now gonna have some dinner. We've ordered some fish and chips and we're just gonna eat it on the floor. We do actually have a table, but you know, gonna have it on the floor for the first night. I'm so hungry. I'm so <sighs> Hope the heating kicks in. It's That'd getting a bit nice. chilly, but nice. yeah, we're gonna enjoy our dinner. <sighs> It is past 10 o'clock now and we're still doing stuff. Our boiler wasn't working so James is trying to fix it. We don't really know what we're doing. Apparently the pressure's gone so he is trying to sort that out. Um, the TV still needs to be done and then I've just made the bed. We're just sleeping on an air bed tonight so I've just blown that up and made the bed. Um, so hopefully that's already for us to get into but I really want a bath so I'm hoping the heating gets sorted so I can have a hot bath because I really fancy one I wanted to get into my new clean PJs um so hopefully that's all fixed soon good morning excuse hi look I've just woken up so it is the first morning in the new house and it's super early because obviously we don't have curtains so the sun definitely woke me up this morning and I'm feeling a bit like I think yesterday was so exhausting I've got a bit of a headache now and um yeah definitely my legs and arms ache but it's fine <laughs> we're here we've still got so much to do today but I'm actually not here today because obviously I'm going to the wedding um but James is going to be here and taking all the deliveries so hopefully on Friday I have loads to show you from all the furniture but the weather is looking lovely I don't see blue skies the sun is shining through I am here for that because yesterday was rainy and dreary and I just don't fancy that so I feel like I need to do something because it's hard because you don't have furniture to put all your stuff in so everything's in bags but yeah we've got a rubbish corner over there of all of our recycling and cardboard that box i just can't bother to take upstairs <laughs> but it's got loads of like my toiletries and stuff in the big tv box i don't know if we're supposed to keep that or not we haven't actually used the tv yet it's still got like the seal on it which i cannot wait to peel off um that stuff is for, um, for the sofa and then there's just some bed in there which I could take upstairs. I also don't know where to put my shoes. I think I'm just going to put them under the stairs but because of all the rubbish there I can't bother to move it all just to put my shoes under there so just staying in the middle of the lounge for now. Also I'm, I'm not sure if I like a different paint colour so originally I'll show you it's kind of hard to see on camera but I do really love this one and I think it will give like the room a bit of like depth because we're thinking we want to go quite neutral on like the furniture and all the decorations and stuff but I'm actually starting to really like this one these two have two coats so this one doesn't have a second coat which maybe why it looks a bit paler 
but I do really like it. At first I thought it was too pink, but actually now I'm thinking this is pinker than that, so I might have to give that one a second coat and see what I think. Because over here, in different lights, it kind of looks... I don't know, actually, over here it does look a bit more beige, which is what I was going for, as this does look a bit pinkier. So maybe this is my favourite now. I'm going to give it a second coat and then we'll see what we feel later because I think tomorrow we need to go out and buy the paint because people, my family are coming to help strip this wall. I don't hate it, but it's not for us. Um, and obviously we paint the whole room so we kind of need to know what colour and have the paint ready um, so we can get go, go. I really want to do something to the garden now because it's just loads of like weeds and stuff but I think that is for a later date and also when it's not wet and cold outside so I'm just gonna apply a second coat to that shade. I hope they still open today. Hello so we have done a few more bits to the house. Um, my family came around yesterday to help. I didn't really vlog that much because um, it was just all chaotic um, but I managed to get like a few little clips um, but yeah a lot have happened so I'm gonna show you all the bits that we've built so the first thing is the desk in my office so I've gone for this one from Ikea just the Alex drawers which I'm literally obsessed with I just need to get more organizers so I can organize my makeup because at the moment it's just in that big makeup bag um but yeah and i'm hopefully gonna get like a similar style wardrobe to go along here and then this can be like my office slash dressing room which will be so cute then on ignore all the mess everywhere to the bedroom so we bought got the bed built the bed is actually a different color than i anticipated so it's gonna be more of like a beige but i'm kind of glad it's gray because we haven't really gone gray anywhere else in the house um and i really love like the whole green and gray look i think that also really works with the beige as well um so that's basically all that's done in here now i'll show you the next room but please ignore all of my clothes because this was the dumping ground so I've actually had this sofa bed made, which pulls out um, into like a double, which is so cool. Um, but it has loads of stuff, so ignore all my clothes. And then we've had this unit also built, um, which we're gonna pop a TV on and James can have his PlayStation there. And this can be sort of like gaming room or just a place for him to um, be with his friends and stuff. So, but there's loads of storage in that. And I'm also tempted to have this downstairs in the living room for our um, sort of like TV unit because that fell off the wall, which in hindsight was kind of a good thing because my stepdad was here when it happened. And, you know, he kind of knows how to sort all those things. So kind of good that it happened. Um, but I'll show you downstairs because it's very different down there. So this is currently what our living room looks like. So I'll show you from the top, just leave it over. So we've just placed our sofa here for now because the TV is so high on this unit. This will not be our TV unit, but it's what we're using for now. And um, so we managed to rip up all the, the wallpaper off and we're currently trying to scrape the paint off so that we can like whitewash it and then paint it. But we've only got our little cutlery knives. So that is what we're trying to scrape the paint off with. Um, so it's going to be a long old process, but we are going to go to B&Q and see if we can get like some bigger scrapers to kind of take it off. Otherwise, we'll be here for weeks just trying to get this paint off. But I think that's all that we've done, really. Yeah, those units did take forever to build. But the wallpaper pulling off was very satisfying. Did you have been built upstairs or Yeah, yeah. So I haven't actually updated you in a little while. So it's now Monday and we managed to strip quite a bit off this wall on Saturday. And then yesterday um, was obviously Easter. So we just spent time with our family. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here and then 
start a new vlog so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and please do let me know what other sort of videos you want to see and i hope you stick around um for the new vlogs thank you bye